Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit the notification bell, get all the updates. Really excited for today's beers, courtesy Chris. Thank you so much, Chris. I really appreciate it. Um, he has sent me other Hightower beers. I'm pretty sure, I'm sorry, this is high, a beer from Hightower. I'm pretty sure it's the first sour I've had from them. Uh, it's a fruited sour, if you couldn't tell from the color. Uh, it's 4% ABV. It's called Through My Lens Cherry Blackberry Pie. And again, it's 4% fruited sour. If you watch my channel, you know I don't uh, open beers ahead of time uh, unless I did on camera open and there was an issue and then the beer is poured. So when I popped it, it didn't explode out. It just kind of foamed out and then a little bit on the side. We're talking half a paper towel to clean everything. It wasn't that bad. Um, but when I poured it, the, the head was this, at the very bottom was liquid, and I'm like, that's going to be a long time to sit. So I've been letting this sit for about 10 minutes at this point. So um, travel, you know, being sent to me, uh, maybe fluctuation in temperature, that fruit, maybe it's re-fermented a little bit, I don't know. Maybe it was, you know, very frothy like that out of the can uh, originally, I don't know. I will say this, when it was foaming over... And again, it wasn't that intense. And then part of me is like, maybe I should just keep going. But I didn't have any paper towels handy to clean up the little bit. I'm a little, apparently I'm OCD a little bit at least. And I wanted to clean it before I did the review. Um, but anyway, in an effort to prevent it from going further, I did drink a little bit of that foam. So I have had a little bit of this beer, technically speaking, at this point. Full disclosure. Let's get into the proper review though. All right. So, I mean, you can totally tell it has fruit in it. And again, it's cherries and blackberries. So... Based on that color, I would I would guess berry. Cherry makes so much sense that's part of it. But I mean, I would believe blueberry, you know, definitely blackberry. So yeah, it makes sense color-wise. Let me uh, do it this way so you can see the color a bit better. The head, not surprising also, is very pink. It's almost, I, I guess I could just say pink. There's a little bit of white still in there from normal beer foam. But, um, you know, looking at it top down because it's on top of... The, the darker, you know, purple color, that white is a little darker towards the pink, whereas on the outside, it's a little lighter. Anyway, yeah, it looks beautiful. Let's get to the aroma. So yeah, not, excuse me, not surprised to me, and it's probably, I, I probably need to stop talking about this. You know, I'm not a huge sour guy, but I do like fruited sours. This is a fruited sour. I probably don't need to mention every time. It smells like a sour with cherry. That's what I'm getting the most. The blackberry... Like, I get some, like, citric acid kind of, um, like, sourness. Some of that malt, like, biscuity, bready. Maybe... And I'm trying to be honest, even though I know what's in here, maybe if I was doing this blind, I would say something like, I wouldn't be surprised if it has a berry in it, but really for me, it's it's the cherry is the fruit that comes through the most. And that's not a bad thing. I love cherry beers. Um, so I guess, you know, short version, too long, didn't read, um... Uh, this smells exactly what I think it would smell like, except I'm not getting the blackberry specifically. But uh, it does smell really good. Let's get into it. Cheers. The taste follows the nose, except they get a little bit more of the blackberry than the, maybe there's, you know, berry in this. Um, but yeah, like the aroma, the cherry is more dominant, which again, I love cherries, that's fine. It, you know what it reminds me of, actually, is, because um, they're calling it, you know, uh, cherry blackberry pie. Speaking of pies, it reminds me a little bit of rhubarb. Um almost always I'll have it strawberry rhubarb pie but like it definitely has that kind of level there's not enough sugar in this 
to, to like to completely go pie filling and, and they're not despite them saying pie they're not trying to make a beer that tastes like pie filling obviously um it is kind of cool just like you want me to get some of the the biscuity bready things like you kind of get the crust that way you have fruit in it like a fruit filling um but yeah the closest i can think of to a pie would be like a a, a rhubarb pie where you're getting a lot of that um uh, from the rhubarb but uh, not being cut as much with strawberry or enough sugar or i shouldn't say enough but a lot of sugar um going back to what's actually in the glass the cherry works super well with this and at times it reminded me especially when i did the foam out of the can because i had that kind of uh, close to this consistency and i actually said this in another review not too long ago i don't remember which one it reminds me of an icy like you get a movie theater like a cherry one i mean it really like that kind of cherry citric acid um and then again with that, with that foam kind of consistency and i'm getting that in the actual liquid as well It's about as sour as I want a beer for my palate. But again, that's why it's good and bad. It wastes time for people who watch a lot of reviews. For people who don't, it's probably good to hear kind of like what your palate is when you're talking about a beer or reviewing a beer. Um, so if you are a fan of sours, I'm pretty confident you wouldn't be like, oh, this is like the higher end of my sour caliber, you know. But for me, this is about as sour as I want a beer. Um, the fruit works really well with the base or what I'm assuming are the flavors from the base. Like the aroma for my palate too. I just love blackberry. So even more blackberry will be awesome for me. But again, as someone who loves cherries are coming through really well for 4%. And that's what's so amazing about sours and fruited sours is you can get these low ABVs with these big flavors, you know, cause you're, you're getting the puckering salivating, uh, quality. Um, so you get that, that sour thing going. So like there's something stimulating your palate, right? Then you get some, uh, fruit taste and that stimulates your palate and your brain's like, okay, I get the sour. I got these familiar, you know, fruit flavors. Um, you know, they're, they're, then it's like, wait, where's the sugar? Like I'm used to with these cause the sour's, uh, uh, still dominating in that capacity. You get some of that biscuity thing. It's like, oh, here's another thing I'm used to. So definitely kind of like stimulates the palate. Uh, it, like I said, get, it's getting me salivating for sure, which I think is common with this style. Um, at least for me, and speaking of salivating, and uh, yeah, it's a cool beer. It's really warm today, so like this is a perfect beer on a hot day. Again, low ABV, full flavor, had some of that fruit going through. Um, yeah, winner for me. Thanks again, Chris, for saying it. I really appreciate it. Um, uh, check me out on Instagram on tap. No hype beer reviews at both those places. So always please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.